Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. Mr. Gutierrez, come up. It's not a good morning. No, it most certainly isn't. Let's go through your summary, Mr. Gutierrez. Sir. Client was placed client was placed on community supervision on 8323. He was referred to IOP SOP on 9523. You were assigned to the SACC caseload on 9623. You were referred to IOP SOP, which is the outpatient treatment programs, intensive outpatient and supportive outpatient treatment. If you failed to complete the DWI intervention program, failed to complete with the rules of his portable alcohol monitoring device, the client has a large amount of skip tests. They have were verbally, I'm sorry, am I boring you? Verbally addressed with you by the probation officer on a repeated basis. You have two positive UAs for alcohol and THC on 1123 and 224. And now the recommendation is what? That's what we're going to do. I tried to get you to do this on your own. You were unable to do it. Now we're going to do it my way. Those with you. You ready for the first round? Yeah, let's, let's rock and roll. All right, we're on page two. Mabel Kingsford. Come on up. Are you going to do it? I emailed Dylan. Okay, yeah. you got it, got it. Yeah. King Sir Ayibo. Uh, Good morning, sir. You were charged with assault of a family member. You're facing up to a year in jail and or a four thousand dollar fine. Okay. We're going to do probable cause. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you. You have the right to have an attorney present during questions and interviews with the state of Texas. We cannot afford a lawyer. A lawyer be appointed to represent you, sir. On April 15, 2024, in Harris County, officer dispatched to a disturbance call. Officer met with a complainant who was married to the now defendant. The defendant had been drinking in the evening and started an argument with the complainant. And while the complainant was sitting in a chair, he pushed the complainant and scratched her arm, causing pain. Officer noted the complainant had a small cut on her arm. Can you run an NCAC to see what other priors, if any, that he yes, had? Yes, Mr. Kim. Mr. Uh, Ayebo, I'm going to find that there's probable cause to go forward with your case. I'm now ordering you as a condition of your bond not to consume alcohol or illegal drugs. I'm going to randomly test you. If I find that you're consuming alcohol or dope, you will go to jail. You will not get any more PR bonds. Do you understand? No problem, Judge. Okay. Do we know if she wants to have contact with him? Uh, no, we ha haven't had successful contact yet. There was one attempt um, about a week ago. Okay, I don't know if she wants to have contact with you. So until I know that she wants to talk to you, I'm ordering you not to have any contact with her. I'm also ordering you not to be in possession of any weapons. It looks like they didn't do a MOAP. So I'm entering in what's called a magistrate's order for emergency protection that identifies Victoria Aibo as a protected individual. You cannot commit family violence or an assault against this person. Commit an act in furtherance of an offense under section 42.072 of the Texas Penal Code, which is the stalking statute. You cannot threaten, harass, use another person to communicate a threat or harassing behavior. You cannot be in possession of a weapon or go within 200 feet of where she lives or where she works. Do you understand? If you violate this court order, the state can and will file a violation of a protective order against you. And that's one of the worst cases that you can pick up. Tell me, what do you do for a living, sir? Warehouse, uh, warehouse lead, I see my logistic. How much money do you make a month? 
And now for, it depends because right now our, our hours is so now, so we're making 35 hours. So I'm going home with $560 a week. So you make around, give or take, two grand a month? Yes. Do you have any children? No. Can you afford a lawyer, sir? Um, at this time, I'm concerned. Let's do this. Let's do this. I want you to go out there. I want you to start looking. There's a gajillion and one lawyers in Harris County. It's a matter of you getting one, like buying a car. You don't go to a Ferrari dealership when you first start buying a car. Same thing with a lawyer. You go to one, you find one within your price range, negotiate with them. 99% of them will put you on a payment plan if you ask. Okay. Negotiate with them. Don't take them at first blush. If they say no, go to the next one. If you have any issues, just come back and talk to me and then we can go further. All right. My wife, uh, I'm the one who take care of it. Uh, she don't want to work, so uh, the bills, I'm the one paying everything. So uh, for now, until I know that she wants to have contact with you, I just don't want it. I don't, I don't want it to happen. I'm, I will have them later on reach out to her to see if there's contact. Also, when you have a lawyer, the lawyer can come and approach, and then we can talk about modifying the conditions. But I want to know. I want to honor her wishes. That's my first concern. And I don't know what she wants to do with you, okay? So for now, I'm gonna have you go to Victoria. We'll have you sign a reset. After that, I'm gonna have you take your seat in the jury box while I get your bond conditions. We'll have you sign it, and then you'll be free to go. All right? Right this Please. way. Council, do you have a hand? Okay. No, 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 Dave, we have one more. Please. Oh, Ma'am, come up. What is your name? Sign your Williams. Williams on page 24. And do you have a lawyer? Yeah. Um, Your case is nearly 400 days old. You've taken off multiple times. I am not happy with you, ma'am. The next time you skip out on me, I'm going to make your bond so high you're going to flip. Do you understand? Who is your lawyer, ma'am? Garcia. Okay. Um, no resets. We figure out today what happens. Take a seat for me in the jury box, ma'am. Greg. Hey, Judge. How are you? Hey, bud. What's up? Hey, I just have this case today, so I'm jumping on, but uh, we already took care of my Alexis Kidder, right? Okay. So um, my other case is uh, Brittany Gillardoni. She is in custody. Um, I don't see that a rip call has been done, uh, but I believe she's on probation. So what I don't was the last, Greg, what was the last name again? Gillardoni. I have a Gillardon. She's got an alias. It's Gillardoni. But yeah, she has an alias of Gilladon as well. It's oh yeah, that's AK. We have the AK. So she's on probation for felon in possession, less, uh, possession less than a gram, and now she's picked up an assault. Yes. The bond, our bond is set at twenty five hundred. I don't know if she's made bond on the felony cases. She. Wait. Oh, she's got quite the history, man. Um, tell me, what do you want? I was just waiting to see what felonies doing. I mean, the rip call hadn't been done, so they haven't made a wreck, which I understand. But they, the next setting date for the felony is two twenty seven of twenty four. So that tells me they haven't done anything. She probably hasn't even made it up. Let's see if they've even filed a motion to revoke. It maybe just so attempted once, but she hasn't called back. Hey, okay, look, they filed a motion to adjudicate in February of this year, already once. They they had another one in December. They 
haven't filed it yet. The last one was in 227 for the last revocation, but her bond is still technically set at 10,000 for the one back in February. So I imagine they're going to do it sometime soon. Yeah, it's her third um, time, Greg. So do I do like a two week reset, Judge? Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Okay. Um, we need to probably do conditions though, because I don't know if she's going to get out. This one is that's a low bond, and if she makes our bond, you know, uh, I might. Then she's had two fugitive cases in, <laughs> in this court. Yeah, do you mind bringing her up, please? Um, so, Dave, let's do PC real quick, huh? When she gets out here, yeah, uh, Judge. Sorry, I jumped on Zoom because it's my only case today. That and the fugitive get you out of here quick, man. Yeah, no worries. I'm just, I'm not, that's why I didn't come down there. So. Okay. Good morning, Ms. Gillardoni. Yes, sir. Good morning. How's jail? I guess we're not getting your attention. Come on up to the bar. I guess we're still not getting your attention. So you now stand charged with assault bodily injury. You're facing a year in jail and or a $4,000 fine. Counselors, keep it down, please. Yes, sir. We're going to do probable cause. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can or will be used against you. You have the right to have an attorney present during questions and interviews. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. Just so you know, you're not here alone. Look on the screen up there. That's Greg. He's been appointed to represent you. So you do have a lawyer with you today. On April 6th, officer replied by, by the complainant who stated that the now defendant was walking on the north side of the street. Uh, the uh, complainant stated that she was walking with a male friend when the now defendant came from behind and began a conversation with the male. Uh, complainant stated she didn't know the defendant and complainant stated that her male friend left and the defendant turned to the complainant and stated, quote, I'm going to drag you down the street, end quote. They got into a verbal altercation where the defendant grabbed the complainant by the hair, threw her to the ground and dug her or drug her on the concrete floor, then stomped on her head once. Hmm. Complainant stated she felt pain, had a nod and early bruise forming on the left side of her head that the officer was able to observe, an abrasion to her left knee that was bleeding. Ma'am, I'm going to find that there's probable cause to go forward with your case. I don't know if you're going to get out, but if you do, I'm ordering you under home confinement. You are not out, allowed out for any reason. Do you understand? I'm also going to put a GPS monitor so I know where you are at all times. I'm ordering you not to be in possession of weapons and not to have contact with any of the complaining witnesses. That's all I do for this country. Yes, sir. Thank you. The nation, matter of fact. You're done. I, I you're appreciate done. that, you're sir. Done. Thank you. You're done. No, I'm there, Your Honor. Hey, Judge. What was that? Gilardoni. You might be on your own. Gilardoni with a G. So, you want to go ahead and have her evaluated, Greg? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Can't hurt. Uh, let me make a note. I'll, I'll do the paperwork tomorrow when I'm down there. Do you want to do a longer reset then, Judge, if I file the... You, you, have, you, know, you have to do 30 days. Yeah. So let's do like 31 since I'm going to file it tomorrow, 31 or 32? Correct. Okay. Yeah, and I'll be honest, I don't know if a $2,500 bond is sufficient, man. I don't know that she'll go make it. Higher. She was on docket. Uh, mm -hmm. Last time, so I don't know that she'll make it, Your Honor. Okay, because she's been there, I think, a week. So, Dan, yeah, you ready? We have another rain. Okay, you thank you, Judge. Thanks, Greg. You're the best. Hey, Luis, Salina Silva, come up. You speak English. Transferieron tu caso a el ERD, se llama, un diferente corte, okay? Um, hey, Victoria, what's what's the address for ERD? I know, but I need to give him the, uh, I want to give him the address so he doesn't go to the wrong place. I think it's 1115 Congress. That's it? Yes, Judge. Okay. Is it fifth floor, fourth? Do you know? Ramona, what floor do you know? 
I believe fourth floor. But there's a sign right out in front. Fourth floor, Judge. Oh, yeah, they started putting in the elevators because people kept getting lost. <laughs> okay. Hey, does he have court today? Okay. Te voy a dar este papel. Dice que tú tienes corte el 23 de abril. Oh, no. What is it? We're in April, right? Yes. Okay. Abril 23 a las 11 de la mañana. Este es el dirección a donde tienes que ir. No tienes corte aquí a más. Y si tienes preguntas, llámate a tu abogado y él te puede decir más. Oh, tienes que ir ahora a las 11, pero anda ahora a esa dirección. Piso 4 en el Congreso. Come up, Miss Williams. Okay. Right. Ma'am, you were charged with theft. You're facing up to six months in jail and or a $2,000 fine. You guys have worked out an agreement where they're offering you three days in jail with credit for the one day that you've done. You're pleading guilty to this case. It will go on your record. It's going to be there for the rest of your life. You can never take it off. You understand. You were giving up the right to a trial, right to compel witnesses to test on behalf, confront and cross-examine your accusers. If you are not a citizen, there are possible immigration consequences. You can be deported, excluded from the country, denied naturalization. You give up the right to appeal. Like I said, this is done deal forever today. You can never change this. You still want to do this, man. How do you plead to the offense? Guilty or not guilty? I will find you guilty. I will send you to the agreement. Understand, Ms. Williams, that from now on, you will be facing a minimum of 30 days in jail if you ever pick up another theft case. What's more is that a third theft case, you're facing a felony charge. Instead of days, it's years. Do you understand? Okay, good luck to you, ma'am. Please see the clerk. I'll roll it. I'll roll I mean, statistically, it's not. Okay. Tell me. And Hi. Ashton um, Alvarez or Alvarado. Um, uh, city or on bond? Oh, is that? Sorry. He's on bond, Judge. That's right. Correct. Um, Where is he now? Yeah, we need to talk because I was going to revoke his bond because he tested positive. So um, I think that, guys, do you mind? Hey, Pavel, you go in, guys, step in so I can. Come up, Mr. Espinoza. Could I talk to him briefly? Um, but Tess, he said he should be good um, in the next couple of weeks. No, he, he told me the last time, yes, yesterday, in fact, that he had smoked like two or three weeks ago. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When was the last time you smoked dope? No, I want a date because I'm going to test you. And I want to know if you, because I asked you yesterday to be honest with me. And if you test positive, I'm going to put you in jail. You told me that you had done it a couple weeks ago. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt because of your arrest was a couple weeks ago. But I want to know because I ordered you to stop smoking dope. And if you did while you're on bond, you're going to stay with me. So I want a date. You'd get with Kabita. I want to know because within the next week and a half to two weeks, I'm going to test you. If you test positive, you'll end up staying with me. So talk to Kabita and let me know. Thank you, my Uh, my case was actually over a month ago, and we'll talk about I started. Okay, we'll talk about it. All right, and that's sorry. a bad thing for you, Mr. Espinosa. I would get back into school so you could learn something, because right now you ain't got no knowledge.
Yes, Judge. It's Tell me. Four nine nine five six two. Um, Talking about homeboy. Yes, we're still waiting on a rib. It looks like from the state, and he's going to need it probably at least thirty days to pass the drug test, considering it's been a week. Or so. When was the last time we smoked weed? Last week. Last. Come up. Come up. Did you get a day? Date, but about a week ago, I'm going to end up picking a date if you can't give me one. If you can't give her a good date, I'm going to pick one for you. The last time you smoked weed. And let me t let me make something abundantly clear to you. If you ever, ever smoke again, you're going to jail for a long time. You understand? I am also making it a condition that you get a job. Go to Amazon. All you need is one leg and a partial heartbeat to get a job at Amazon. Get a job or you will stay with me. Do you understand? Start paying child support or you will stay with me. Pay what I can. That's not good enough. What you can means nothing. That baby still that baby still needs to eat, not when it can eat. It eats three times a day, Mr. Espinoza. Get a job. So what date are we coming back for him to take a drug test? A week ago, I guess he said, right? So today's the 23rd. So that's, let's just assume, I guess that's the 16th. Probably May 16th would be fine, Judge. That's a Thursday. <laughs> what day did you say? May 16th. Unless you want to do like a two. One, two. And I'm hoping that we can get this case resolved. I will give you that day. Any day that you ask. You are going to come here on May 16th to take a drug test. Your butt better be clear, because if it's not, it ain't gonna go well for you, Mr. Espinosa. I'm also gonna have you come back in two weeks to prove to me what you've done to get a job. If you've if you've done nothing from now to the next two weeks, say bye bye. Take a seat. Can I You'll talk to what? me out there. Um, to prove that I'm actively looking for a job, can I like show me applying and? You can give that to me. Uh, okay. Oh, that Peter, she can help you. But I'm telling you, go to Amazon. They hire just about anyone. If you put your heart into it, you can do damn near anything, Mr. Espinoza. That's all it takes is a little willpower and a little go-getter attitude. That's all it takes. I'm not asking you to split the atom. Okay. Okay.